Yuri, thank you for, um, saving Flynn. <sighs> you guys go on ahead first. I'll catch up. I'm not going to tell anyone. Why? Because I can understand why you tried to kill me back there. There's something you just want to protect, even if it means dirtying your own hands. You lose your senses in the heat of the moment and find yourself doing things you'd never imagine. I know what I have done is unforgivable. It would have been easier if you'd blame me for this. Don't flatter yourself. Don't think I'm here doing this for your own good. I'm not going to put the blame on you just so you can ease your conscience. W what? What should I do? I have no intention of lecturing you about rights and wrongs. Go figure it out yourself. <gasps> if you can't, go ask someone you can talk to about this. But not me. As Flynn's friend, I'm grateful for the loyalty you've shown towards him. <gasps> Eat it, you bitch. Yuri's not too fond of young Sodia, is he? I can see where he's coming from, though. Everything about her feels hard as a rock. That's not exactly easy to like. Ah, cut her some slack. Knights are all a little square. She has a stubborn nature that quick to act folks like you and Yuri don't. And that's a good thing. Stubborn is good? You totally lost me there. I figured I would. That's why we can't talk without getting on each other's nerves. Well, I do appreciate Yuri giving her shit, but telling her to handle it in the right way. Maybe she'll admit what she did and rot in prison for the rest of her life. You know, the more realistic and accurate choice. I'm in hell. Why is this bowel button not working? What am I to do, ladies and gentlemen? What am I to do? Where on the world map is Don Gris? It is there. Where are we exactly? I forget where we even are. Where he, why the fuck? What? What? I spent 30, 30 seconds jamming on that button. He's like, eh, no, I'm good. It's like, fuck you, young man. Had enough. We don't have much time until the apocalypse, and you're just dragging, dragging your fucking flying shit. Unacceptable. We have to hit up Don Grest, and I think it was Nordopolica. Again. Again. They're like, we made these towns, we're gonna make you use them. And I'm like, no, don't do it. Don't make me use them anymore. Ah, the Don's place. Knockity knock. Who's here? So are you telling me to go all the way out to the countryside? I wonder if this place is any good. This place is no good. And Zaphius won't work either. We gotta make these things fair for everyone. This is something important. For the Empire and for the guilds. Hmm. I'm not going to be used like some messenger. I don't want to leave Dongrest at a time like this. It's up to you, Harry. All right, I guess I'll be going. What? This is important! You're just gonna decide like that? It's all right. I'm not gonna question Harry's decision back there. Hmm. That settles it. We'll be back at the Little Prince's earliest convenience. Okay. All right. While well, we've gone ahead and done that, let's head on over to Nordopolica and see, uh... See if we can get some people from there. I forget who would be there at this point, because Be uh, Bellius is dead. No, uh, not dead, Bellius is new. New and improved, but you know what I mean. I can only assume this is like some of the last stuff before Endgame really gets started. Because I can't imagine what else uh, we would be doing here in the third act of the game. Like we got, we, we, we opened with getting stabbed. We, we dealt with that. All right, that's step one. 
Uh, we got the band back together, uh, step two. Um, we established how to make spirits, step three. Step four, uh, obtain the four major elemental ones, because it seems those are the only spirits this game will have. We'll have, like, Maxwell or... Uh, I've forgotten every single one else that exists. I think there's one like this, like, Volt. Uh, so that step's done. Uh, what, 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 what else is on the list? We've got wrap-up stuff for loose ends, like the hunting blade stuff and the, uh, the patty stuff. Um... This game's running out of time for me to beat the shit out of Flynn, and I'm just assuming we're not getting that. <laughs> it's either happening, like, in the next hour, or it's not happening at all. Uh, let's see. Nordopolica, I do not remember where it is at all. How about this thing over here will tell me? There we go. It is this peninsula over here. But we've spent uh, multiple hours of the game prepping ways to fight back the big bad. So soon. I understand. We'll wait here until you return. Yes, thank you. That Nat sure is a man of understanding. We got his approval really fast. He's seen the world change before his very eyes. He doesn't have an ounce of suspicion when it comes to others. I wonder if the Union and the Polistrale can get along. Of course they can. They're of the same guild, after all. That's right. Now is the time to put their differences aside and join forces. They'll have to get along. I, quarreling only aids you in understanding one another and forges true friendships. We'll be their bridge over troubled waters. You're right. There's still that little prince. Let's go back to where Flynn and the others are. Maybe they've made some progress. Yeah, let's head back first. I do appreciate that the they met us immediately. Didn't have to go that deep in. The Dawn's absence is still hanging heavily here. The atmosphere is a bit off, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. But still, they're not doing half bad. You think so? Sure, they may not show it much, though. These guys prefer keeping their distance. Stand firm, don't fight, watch out for each other, help each other out. Not too close, not too far. I'd say they're doing just fine. So they don't just simply get along. Men are so complicated. Their hearts are like labyrinths. Men aren't the only ones. I, I forgot that this place uh, has an overly long, like, docking area. It just warped me up. All right. Thank you for being summoned immediately this time. I had a couple of concerns after the last incident. Let's see. Wasn't it like a green grassland area that we were in before? Hmm. I don't actually remember where the area where we were to meet is. Though I bet the world map does. There. That would be here. Northeastern Hippionia. People work fast. They've already built this much? I can't believe the city's come this far so quickly. I know. Um, we've been gone for nine minutes. And it doesn't look like they used magic. Look. Looks like they burned themselves out. Looks like the knights put up a fight too. I guess this is what people do when they work together. In the moment of truth, 
People manifest amazing strength, just like fish caught on a line. Yeah, this just goes to show you people always manage somehow. So, how do you like it? Hats off to you. How are things on your end, Yuri? We talked to them. We also told them that we talked to His Majesty when we could. Okay, I talked to His Majesty, and it looks like he'll come. He's coming by ship now. He's taking the slow route. I'll take Baul to pick him up. Harry and Nats, too. Really? Won't Baul get angry? There's no time, right? Baul understands that, too. That would be a great help. There's no time left. So the leaders of the world will finally come together. Now we just have to see if they understand what we're doing. And if the diplomatic approach doesn't work, there's always fisticuffs. These people have gone through so much to get here. I just know they'll understand. Yeah. Spirits. Adefagos. Duke. Turn all the world's cores into spirits. It's an extraordinary story. I know it's hard to believe, but that's the reality we're up against. No more Blastia, no more barriers? There would be so much chaos. If we don't do it, then we're all gone, either by Duke or the Atafagos. There may be no choice, but do you really think people will listen? I don't think anyone hopes for a future of destruction. We can keep moving forward, even if it's hard. Yeah, that's why we're doing this. The Empire's duty is to prevent confusion and guide people to the future. Now is the time to reign for the people. We'll have our hands full. Making new things that will serve for Blastia. Oh, there's business to be done. We have to think of a way to fight off the monsters without the barriers. The Mercenary Guild and Hunting Blades won't be enough. What about combining the Reformed Knights with the Guilds? Sounds interesting, but I don't know if it'll go smoothly. You're not going to stay until the end? That's not our job. Yeah, that's stuff for the important people to work out. Somehow I think people will have a harder time than they're thinking. It's their job to get ready for that. Our we have to crush the Autophagos and stop Duke. Aye, we've got to sail the course we've plotted. I see. Sorry, we left all the dirty work to you. That's my line. We always leave the hardest part to you all. I apologize. All right, we got work to do. But how are we supposed to access all the world's cores? I think I know a way. There was something in the research Alexei and Barbos did. Some note about creating a network of Blastia. Really? Where's that note? Um, I brought it with my personal things. H hey, wait! You can't just go looking at people's stuff! Oh, I'm going too. They just took off. Brave Vesperia's as lively, no as rowdy as ever. That's just how we are. Looks like there's a tiny bit of hope. Yes, it does. I'm sure she'll find an answer if she's that worked up. Let's just hang out until she does. Another hangout moment. Is this another entry of Talk to Everybody, the video game? That's my favorite entry. It's actually my least favorite of them all, to be honest. But, you know. It'd be like that. How you doing? Yuri, do you have a minute? Hmm? Yeah, sure, what's up? Not here. I'll be waiting at the entrance. Hmm? What's, uh, what's up, man? You ready? <laughs> no, hold talk on. To me when you're ready. Hold on, let me buy some gels first. <laughs> I assume there's some sort of shop in this, in this forsaken place. Ah, oh, no, that's the HQ. 
Hmm. Let's see. Nope, no, we don't. There are no, there are no shops. Uh, you know what? I don't need any gels. This will be really easy. You ready? Fucking yeah, I am. So, are you gonna tell me why you're so serious? Are you just gonna go like this? Huh? The people who command the entire world are gathered here. Now's the time to tell them all you've done. Not this again. Half of my achievements, or more, are really yours. So what? It doesn't matter who did them. It does. Why do you always choose the option that's bad for you? Why do you try to bear everything by yourself? Do you think I can't take the burden? You're carrying what I can't. I know I can do what I want only because someone's watching out for me. But... Forget it. I can't explain. I'll just yell at you again. <laughs> In that case... Try it like this. Yuri! You're not gonna beat me in an argument, but you know what you can beat me in. This. Yeah. You're right. Just like always. Everything I feel is in this sword. Good. Come on! Oh, it's got a good beat. Alright, we're gonna have to focus. Solo fights are hard. You do too. You guess why just taught us both a few things. How many years has it been since... Uh, it's been about 20 years since we last did this, I assume. We fought there we this. go. Uh, we fought in the Coliseum. <laughs> of course not. Just, you know, a lot of stuff has happened. It's... Yeah? It's just different. <laughs> yeah. It feels different for me, too. I wonder what it is. Does it matter? I am so gonna kick your ass. No, 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 no. I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, it's on now. Excuse me, did it just say no to mine? <laughs> right. These motherfuckers just cancelled mine to do his. This game fucking sucks. I just burned three meters for nothing. So a quick editor's note, um, I listening back to it, it sounds like he's always scripted to do the mystic art to say that he's gonna kick Yuri's ass, like as a big counter that he does it immediately. Um, that, that doesn't make me feel any better about this whole situation. Uh, mainly just because uh, if I did mine first, it should just fucking do mine first. So uh, expect me to bitch about it for the rest of the Let's Play. I love you. And I hope you enjoy. Back to live commentary. I right, just... I'm gonna just use a special. There we go. Oh, fuck. It's neat how you've done two Mystic Arts, and I've done none, because the game is bad. <laughs> I'm kind of dejected. I had a I had a moment prepared. I was like, let's burn this meter, let's have this fun, and the game was like, no. This is supposed to be a happy moment. And you know what? It can't be a happy moment anymore. Because daddy took away everything I wanted. Al, please stop that. Nice, he's just letting me do what I want here. Damn you! 
Ah, shit. I am so high! Holy shit! That works. Nice. He's like, he used a gel. That was pretty good. I won? Ladies and gentlemen, what was this trophy? We can't use the DNS surf. We have been we we've, we've been denied. They're like, hey, you wanna know? You can. I'm not connected to the internet. There's no way to know. We're done. You see? You see I can't win. I can't win. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to know what that mission was, and I'm never gonna know it. I'm never gonna know. The internet's been cut. In case you didn't know. The internet was destroyed years ago. I'm talking to no one. I can't use a mystic art in the cool fight. This is a hollow victory. I'm gonna hit this button now and shut the fuck up. I can do even I can't even win with a sword anymore. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> You've gotten better, Yuri. <sighs> you too. You would have beaten me easy if you were still like when we were kids. Didn't we swear on our swords when we were kids? We would fight to make people smile. Yeah. Even if we follow different paths. Even if we bear different burdens. Even if people praised us or hated us. The knights and the guilds won't change, right? There are places in each of us the other can't reach. That's why we're not alone. <laughs> that was a great fight. You probably should have used a Mystic Guard or something. Like, I know, man. But maybe. If the corrupt people would have let me, but no. No, they saw no need. They saw no need. <laughs> Fall apart. Patty, can you believe this shit? It'll work. It would. My mystic art would have worked. <laughs> Connect the spirits directly with the core and excite it. Converge the generated power onto Vesperia number one through the four spirits and then use it against the Autophagos. I was the one to find this method. Synchronize this device with the barrier Blastia placed around the world and then use it to interfere with the surrounding Blastia. Uh, huh? That speech was as sinuous as an octopus's legs. Carol has no hope of understanding. Not like you got it either. So you mean we can transform the Blastia Core into spirits, right? That's what I've been telling you. I knew you could do it, Rita. Our only problem is time. We need to build the Blastia Core Network and prepare for the Converge process simultaneously. I'll handle the network. We do have some people from Ospio who can help, too. We'll need a guard, too. Better keep an eye on the monsters in the Atafagos. The Knights will take that position. We will protect all with our life. The guild will back up wherever necessary. We also have engineers who can help. Hey! This is gonna work out! So then, is Vesperia number one ready for action? Not quite. 
I don't have everything I need to make the body yet. I'm working on all the necessary calculations, but we still need to find compatible parts. Then wouldn't it be better just to make a new one from scratch? There should be plenty of people and materials here. Hey, that's a great idea. We can start with the network construction. How's that sound? Yeah, it could end up being faster if you can do that. Then it's decided. We'll get everyone together so you can explain in more detail later. Everyone's pitching in to make a weapon that can defeat the Autophagos. Just like how this town was built. Thinking about it like that gives me a strange feeling. We just need to get close to the Autophagos so that the power of the spirits will reach it for sure, and then activate Vesperia number one. That means we need to get to... The Tower of Tarkaron. Duke's hideout. Are we gonna fight him? I don't know, but we can't let him use Tarkaron. I guess we can't walk around it. Yeah. All right then, I'll start working on Vesperia number one's repairs. Great. Let's aim to be ready to leave by tomorrow. You know, if I had my Mystic Card, it would have gone faster. Just wanted you to know, buddy. Can fucking savable. Hmm. Oh. Oh. You know, with three limit bottles, that bring my over limit to three. You know what you can do with three? Nothing, because the game won't let you do what you want. <laughs> uh, fuck this shit. I'm gonna pray that they don't want me to talk to every party member, because that's like the worst part in JRPGs. Not the fact that you talk to them, it's just the find everyone type of thing that I kind of like, ah, I, I get it. Just throw the cutscenes at my ass. I'll take it. Is there like an inn in here at all? I mean, maybe. Does this count? Nah, I think there's more buildings around here, maybe. Got a watchtower. We got a dog. It goes meow. A vendor? No, not a vendor. I assumed because he had a large backpack. Hmm, it's probably this cabin. Yes! What are you doing, Patty? Looking for Yuri. Have you seen him? I think he's somewhere in town. Probably sleeping. Hmm. Yuri's just about the only one who can successfully hide from me. In any case, what are you doing, Flynn? Patrolling. This town has no barrier, so I have to work extra hard to keep it safe. What is it? Why are you the one patrolling? You're a commandant. Or is this part of a knight's duty? It has nothing to do with a knight's duty or rank. A knight is... Well, it's difficult to explain. Is it? Personally, I believe they exist solely to protect the people. But not all knights agree. Then things haven't actually gotten any better? No, they've improved quite a bit, though there are those who don't believe so. Lies and rumors are insidious things. Ah, Flynn, you have far too many woes for one so young. True. I have no want for trouble, but I am prepared to face it. Is that right? Ever since I learned the law is imperfect, I've looked for a definitive boundary between good and evil. Recent events have shown me that no such boundary exists. In the end, all I can do is face each trouble as it arises. Perhaps this path is full of pain. That's what I am prepared for. Hmm. Patty? Admirable, but codswallop. Long ago, I led the pirates as I freed. 
But I was only their boss because they had all given me their support. And had Yuri and the others not been there when my memories returned, I'm not sure what would have happened. Without them, I wouldn't be the chipper lass I am today. Patty. You don't have to bear your troubles alone. You have Yuri and me. We all have troubles, so we should work together to figure them out. Together? Yes. You're right. Thank you, Patty. You know, sometimes I can't help feeling that you are terribly mature. Huh, <laughs> it's alright. You aren't the first to fall for my intoxicating charms. If we all work through our troubles together, then someday we'll be able to make the world we dream of a reality. Everything we do, starting with taking down the Autophagos, will be worth it. Resolving to act on a decision influences those around you, and then that decision becomes reality. That's how whole worlds are created! <sighs> Sink me. I'm losing out on my beauty sleep. Off to bed I go! What about Yuri? I'm young! I'm sure there'll be plenty more chances! Good night! Good night! Don't bear your troubles alone. Can't sleep? What about you? Oh, I was just out talking with Baul and it got late. I was just checking on how the repairs were coming along. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Oh, I hate it when you say that. That's strange. I don't mean anything by it. Hey, what are you going to do after this is over? If all goes right, all the Blastia will stop working, including Hermes Blastia. Right. You won't have anything to do. I guess not. That's all I had. Baua was my only friend. Destroying Hermes Blastia was my only purpose. I mean, I had my reasons, but... But? After traveling around with you all, I guess... I don't really care anymore. You're just gonna drop it like that? What are you going to do? You lived for your Blastia research. Th there's tons of stuff I could study. Besides, I realize there are things I can believe in besides Blastia. I don't have any family, so I don't... But uh, I kind of like, you know, how we are. Hey, that's just between us. You can't tell anybody. I won't, I promise. <laughs> it's fun to have secrets with someone. You've changed. You never would have said anything like that when we first met. <sighs> All the different people, different things on this journey, you know? Yeah, I do. I never dreamed I'd end up like this. I don't want to go back. Me neither. When everything's done, maybe I'll just travel the world with Baul. That's nice. Hey, take Estelle too. There's still a lot in this world she should see. You're not coming? It'll be so lonely without you. Uh, well, I guess I could. Well, if we're going to do that, first we have to protect the world. Of course, we'll show that thing. Yes, we certainly will. <clears throat> That's the last one. Good work. Sorry for making your work right before the final battle. Don't worry about it. I'm a member of a guild. I have to do something. Hey, Ray! 
Raven. It's nice to be able to do things for others. Oh, such grown-up words from Master Carol. Yeah, I never did stuff just for other people. I wanted to show others that I could do stuff. I thought that was my dream, but I guess not. To make a guild, to make the guild big, to be a respected boss. All boys have those dreams. It's fine. But that was all just so I would look cool. I mean, there's so much you can't do alone. Yeah, I guess so. I thought I had to do it alone, or I'd look bad, or it'd be worthless, or whatever. That's not helping people. I see. If you work together, you can do a lot more and make a lot more people happy. I realized that traveling with everyone. I like that a lot more. Young Master Carol, you are something. So far ahead of this old man. You are cool enough, just as you are. You're cool too, Raven. Not as cool as Yuri, but... Oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> Me? To be stinking rich with bevies of gorgeous women all around. Mm. I'm kidding. Now, hmm, I'm finally back to just living. So I guess my dream is to be able to dream again someday. That sounds pretty hard, but I'm sure you can do it. Thank you. I think I'll get it. Hey, is your heart okay? Yeah, it's weird, but it's fine. Even if I work it hard, it just keeps going. I guess that's the effect of the spirits. I guess this plan isn't all bad. I'm glad I met everyone. I mean, you too, of course. I'm glad I met you too. Really. We're gonna win tomorrow. In a big way. All right, we should get to bed soon. Lack of sleep is the elderly's worst enemy. Okay, night. Yeah, good night. Dreams are so not my style. But here I am, dreaming. <laughs> what am I gonna do with myself? It's almost time. Yeah, I start to think about it, and I can't sleep. You get that way, too? You say it like I'm made of iron or something. Would you mind if I sat next to you? Thank you. <laughs> it's warm. Tomorrow we face that Autophagos. It's ironic that we're actually using Alexei's research to fight it. If they had only been able to think of others... Yeah, but they made their choices. Nothing we can do about that. Choices? You've always made your own choices, haven't you? I figured if someone's gonna choose, it might as well be me. And I won't find out if I made the right choices until the end. But that's wonderful. Making a choice is so hard. You made your own choice too.
I think I figured it out while traveling with you all. To live means to choose. And to have the resolve to make those choices. I think that's kind of overdoing it. I always just played the role I was given. I was happy to heal people and be thanked. But then I learned my power was poisoning the world. Someone was always using me. What about now? I... I don't know, but... I feel like I'm here doing what I am because it's my choice. My wish. I'm glad I came on this journey with you, Yuri. Me too. I wasn't too sure what would happen when you asked me to take you out of the castle. I'm sure. I like traveling. Lots of different people, different experiences. We traveled the whole world, but I never got tired of it. I think I'll just keep on going around. And keep helping people in need. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's some tomboy princess out there being chased by an evil monster. You're mean. <laughs> It's strange. Right now, I'm not scared at all. If anything, the thought that a new world is about to dawn is... The Autophagos won't kill us. We'll live on. And I'll be able to stay with everyone. With you. Thanks. I feel the same way. Let's get it over with, and live on in a future we choose. Okay. Well, looks like you slept well. Yes, I did. Like a log. The bed was so much more comfortable than when we were here before. Yeah, the whole town is in really good shape. A city this nice needs a name. All right, naming genius. Give it a shot. Okay, okay. Scrappy head. <laughs> you suck! Um, the light that melts away the snow. Arnian, how's that? Arnian? That's a nice name. Now it's got the Imperial Seal of Approval. That settles it. Fantastic! I'm all done, too. With Vesperia number one? This is Yoder's sword, isn't it? What? Is it really okay for us to use that? It's just the right shape and size. Plus, it's forged from rare metal. If I recall, rare metal is quite scarce and known to be exceedingly durable. Listening to your discussion made me remember this sword. I'm utterly incompetent with swords, so I'd be delighted if it was of use to you. Somehow it already feels... different. It is a decent blade. So then this one would be Vesperia number two! It doesn't matter what it's called. It's almost time. Yeah, this time it really is the final battle. Leave the construction of the Blastia network to us. Wait, Commandant, you should go with them. Sodia? No one knows what might happen. They will need your help. But the Knights have been tasked with persuading the people to help with the Blastia. I am well aware that we will not succeed without the people's cooperation. Don't worry. I'm here too, after all. Very well. But Sodia, Witcher? Even though we'll be working separately, we are still a team. 
Remember that, if nothing else. Yes. Okay! We have discussed the Blastia and spirits, and what to do after everything is done. But I think it will take time for some to accept this change. You're right. Many people will be so lost. However, they cannot live in a new world without accepting the changes. You're right. I will start by talking with the people here. They built this wonderful city of Arnian from nothing but a plane. Yes, the residents here should accept it. Good luck. No one would listen to me even if I tried. No way! Estelise, everyone, take care. Everyone, please, stop working for a moment. His Majesty Yoder has something to say. I have something very important to tell you all. This will affect the Empire, the Guilds, and even the Entelikea. I wonder if they'll be okay. They believed in us enough to send us. Let's believe in them. Yes! Well, we have our own work to do. Carol, do your thing. Right! Everybody! We will win no matter what! Onward, Brave Vesperia! Yes! Yeah. I hope everyone will accept this. I mean, that the world is changing. There's a difference between understanding something and accepting something. It'll take time. But this is the only way that's left. We just have to accept it. This isn't a choice we've made freely. We had to choose it. Not everyone will welcome it, that's for certain. But... It's something we have to do. That's what you want to say, right? I yeah. That's fine, then. Cheer up, Carol. Okay. You think it'll work out, right? Who knows? Judith, I can't tell if you're trying to make me feel better or not. What you want is different from what's actually there. Reality can be a harsh mistress. Well, let's, uh, let's set the team up properly, I guess. We'll put Flynn in there. Uh, let's equip the Vesperia number two, the ultimate weapon of Brave Vesperia. Pretty, uh, pretty good. What's the skill that's attached to it? It's like OVL. When entering over limit level two, all nearby allies will also enter level two. Duration of the over limit only lasts half the normal time. All right. With that settled, our goal should be this way. The layer of, of evil, I believe, sprouted here. Whoa! Damn, this is huge. It really feels like it reaches the sky. And this thing was just sleeping in the ground near Ospio. I can't believe it. That must be a life-absorbing formula expanding around it. It looks that way. This isn't good. It looks like it came together pretty quickly. So there's not much time left. Perfect! People always heave ho with a deadline looming over them. That might be true, but it still puts us in hot water. If it's absorbing life from everyone, that should affect us as well.
Estelle? The spirits. They've swathed us in their power. So we should be fine as long as the spirit's power is greater than that formula. Then we just need to run right to the top before that changes. That'll exhaust us before we even face the Autophagos. Can't we just get on Ba'ul and fly up to the top? I doubt it would affect Ba'ul, but we probably couldn't take it. You just don't want to climb up. Of course not. Who do you think I am? Sorry, old man, but it looks like we're walking. Yay. We must brace ourselves and press forward. Yeah, don't let your guard down. Who knows what's waiting for us up ahead? Take that! Whoa, what's the occasion? Little impromptu training session? Well, when I think about fighting Duke, I know I gotta be as strong as I can! I like your spirit. I'd expect that from Carol, but Yuri brings a twinkle to this old man's eyes to see you training. On second thought, let's call it a day. What? We were just getting started! Never fear! I think I can teach you a thing or two. You can thank me later. <laughs> You're volunteering to help, Raven? You're gonna jinx him. <laughs> now, don't be like that. There's no beating an old man once he finds his stride, you know? Would you spar with me as well, Raven? Hey, well, if you both want to, I can't say no. It'll take more than luck to beat Duke after all. All right, Carol, no mercy? Right. No mercy! <laughs> fight! I do appreciate the camaraderie of a good fight. Yeah, this is the final dungeon looking uh, area. That That is... <sighs> this would be the one. The Ancient Tower, Tarkaron. Man, how could all of this be kept underground for so long? The reason so many Blastia were excavated from around Ospio must have been because this was here. The ancient Garayo civilization. This is more amazing than anything in a book. Something feels strange. I know this is a weapon because he's going to use it against the Autophagos. But from the outside, it looked like a city. Did they turn an entire city into a weapon? Maybe they had to sacrifice such a huge city so they could stand a chance against the Autophagos. This place is enormous. So many people must have lived here. And now, one man is holed up in here to destroy every last person. Duke. I'd rather not meet him if we don't have to. That soldier was already a hero in the Great War. Who knows how much stronger he's gotten since. What are you talking about? We'll just kill the Autophagos before we fight Duke. Then Duke won't have a reason to sacrifice humanity. I hope so. The ancient civilization of Garaios. What must the people have been like who lived in an age that produced buildings like this? Well, I'm no expert on their lives, but I have some ideas from the Blastia we've excavated. Except for the Autophagos, from a scientific perspective, their civilization was nearly perfect. Their Blastia would have given them power equal to that of the Antilochea. Oh yeah, otherwise the Antilochea would have wiped them out. It's hard to believe that the people who were so scared of monsters, who locked themselves inside of a barrier, could have been so mighty. People got too much power and destroyed what they built in the process. It's not that uncommon, but there's one part of their legacy we're still paying for. Yep, they left behind the Autophagos for folks who came after them to deal with. Maybe they didn't have a choice, but that doesn't make it right. You take responsibility. We... we'll have to own up to whatever choices we make from now on, too. That's right. If we're gonna make a world without Blastia, we gotta make sure it works. We'll do a proper job with our own hands. Yeah, absolutely. This is a beefy looking area. <laughs> <laughs> 